And we are live. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the Punch Perfect Boxing channel. Before we get going today, please make sure to like the episode, comment your prediction down below, and subscribe to the channel. So today I'm going to be doing my Punch Perfect prediction for Nanito Donaire versus Ray Mark Gabello this Saturday, live on Showtime in the US, and you can catch it on Fight TV in the UK or elsewhere across Europe. I'll leave a link down below to Fight TV so you can see if it's in if it's in your market. Um, looking forward to this fight. Mainly looking forward to seeing Nanito Donaire in action. For anyone that's been following the channel for a while will know he's one of my favourite fighters of all time, he provided some of my most fun boxing memories when I was much younger, the Victor Chinian knockout, Fernando Montiel knockout, the Jorge Arce knockout, There's, he's got so many of them that were just pretty spectacular and even at the uh, as he approaches 40 years old he's still producing them today, the Abali knockout, the fight with Inoue, still being uh, as legendary as his career is and you know I think he's at a stage now a lot of people kind of wonder you know, what stage is Daenerys at? He's obviously in the twilight of his career, he's towards the back end, but this kind of late resurgence, a lot of it is down to the move back down to Bantamweight. I said when he was losing to Carl Frampton and, and fighters like that, that he really does need to move back down in weight, whether that's super Bantam or even going fully back down to Bantam where it all started. He needs to move down in weight because, to be honest, he's just he's, his power hasn't carried up at all. He's been physically bullied and he's just being outboxed by bigger men so moving back down the Ryan Burnett fight where obviously ended under sort of random circumstances with Burnett getting injured but on that he just continued to roll on and has really kind of refound his form refound his best kind of his best years really and he's looking great again he's obviously slowed down a bit physically but that's just because of old age but he's really sort of having a late blossom and it's and it's nice to see because like I say he's one of the good guys in the sport and a really exciting fighter and one that's produced many memorable highlight reel knockouts over the years. Going into this fight he takes on Ray Mark Cabello who is obviously sort of up and coming he's been a, a dangerous fighter you know he's very very similar in my opinion to Casemiro a bit more calculated not as reckless but he likes to hurt his opponents he likes to get after them and if he smells blood he really goes for it he's a bit erratic and I do find that his defense isn't the best when you look at that resume there's not a great deal there and um, his two fights in America one against Stefan Young where he went to the uh, went to a points decision Donaire destroyed him in the world boxing super series and then the other opponent is Manny Rodriguez who he went the distance with and I thought Manny Rodriguez got robbed in that fight in my opinion it was one of the worst scorecards I've seen recently um, I thought Rodriguez won it quite clearly so listen Gabello is not a bad fighter by any means and you know his his mentality going into this he's fighting Donaire who as a fellow Filipino he would have looked up to throughout the years and he does enter this fight with just a no cares given attitude where I do think he he obviously respects Denaire but I think he's going in there to do some damage and do a job which I think some people struggle with against Denaire I think some people are fearful of the left hook and the power and they go in a bit tentative I thought Obali fought a bit like that and I've seen it with some other opponents throughout the years where they're a little bit shy of being caught and the people that have really thrived against Denaire have been the fighters you know I'm not going to include featherweight because I just think it's it's a different conversation because they're much bigger and you know much more physically imposing up there but when you look at kind of his bantamweight and super bantamweight run the fighters that have been able to beat him the most notable two obviously being Rigandale went in there with no fear and was the supreme boxer and was able to you know just went in there supremely confident in their ability you also look at Inoue who was destroying everyone and went in there with a mindset of destroying Denaire as well so you do have to go in there against Denaire with no cares in the world and you do have to just focus on your own game and worry about yourself and I think Cabello will do that I think he knows this is his big opportunity to capture a world title so I think he will come in there and he'll try to be dangerous he'll try to get after Denaire but ultimately I just don't see him winning I do think his two toughest fights have both gone to the decision so we've kind of seen that although he is dangerous he does carry power he is a bit sort of reckless that doesn't really translate when he fights at the at the sort of higher level and I think this is the elite level now he's jumping up to so I only see a Denaire win because his defense is very leaky he's open to be hit and in my opinion apart from Inoue who is the monster I don't see who else takes a clean left hook on the chin from Denaire I think every other fighter in that division that takes that shot is just going to fold in my opinion 
and Donaire's going to have, unless he gets stopped himself, he's going to have plenty of opportunities to land it. And the way you beat Donaire really is by being able to outbox him. I don't think Gabello's of that ilk. I don't think he'll be able to outbox him. We've seen obviously Rigano as a master boxer be able to do it. We've seen Inoue, who's obviously an elite level fighter as well, being able to do it. But I just don't feel like at bantamweight or super bantamweight, you know, kind of a bantamweight, sorry, that there's anyone that can really live with the power or outbox him apart from a new way. So I think he does knock out Gabello this weekend. Between rounds four and eight, I think this might go a bit longer than than the um, Dio Bali fight went. But a big fight for um, for the Philippines. Looking forward to it. Expect an explosive, you know, finish either way. And I do feel like the winner of this pretty much has a, another big Filipino fight on the horizon against John Rail Casemiro. I know Casemiro has been talked about fighting a new way, but they both seem to be on kind of opposite promotional companies now. And I feel like that Donaire fight especially, it kind of feels like it has to happen now because it obviously scheduled to happen in August. And then there was all the kind of talk and back and forth and Casemiro was disrespectful to Donaire and his wife. And Donaire's a very kind hearted person, but he seemed very angry and frustrated. And he, you know, come out there and said he wants to knock out Casemiro. Huge fight for the Philippines. And also they've both been fighting on Showtime. So it's makeable. I feel like that's the next logical step. A big unification. Um... Obviously, Inoue's got the other belts as well, so then an undisputed fight becomes feasible. But I feel like that will be the fight for early next year. And if Gabello goes out there and wins, as long as it's not you know controversial or anything like that, I think he's the le next logical step as well for, for Casemiro. Because again, all Filipino fight, and those two are very similar in terms of styles. I'd say that Casemiro's a bit more reckless, a bit more has a bit more output to him, he's a bit more kind of relentless, whereas I find Gabello to be a bit more calculated, but also still a bit reckless as well. So there's some good fights to be made there in that division, and especially in the uh, fighters of the same nation. But looking forward to it this weekend, going for a Denaire knockout. I don't think a Gabello win would be the most shocking thing in the world, because Denaire does have to kind of age at some point. And also I feel like there's been some really weird results this year and a couple of results where I've sort of felt in the back of my mind could happen the one that's been kicking me throughout this past week is when I did my prediction video obviously I said about Derevchenko against Adames and when I finished recording it and I started to I watched the press conferences and I saw all that sort of thing I thought I quite fancy Adames to win this now and it kind of didn't really I'd already made my prediction stuff, so I didn't want to go back on it. But I've kind of had a feeling a couple of times this year that something could happen. And I think Gabolo has a chance this weekend, but ultimately gets hit too much. And Denaire, if he hits you clean with that left hook, you go into sleep. So Denaire by knockout, let me know yours down below. If you're looking forward to the rest of the boxing this weekend, we've got Loma versus Comey. My prediction is out for that. And Conor Ben versus Chris Algieri. My prediction is out for that as well. So go and check them out. Subscribe to the channel. Catch you next time.